Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and another looks in video. This time we'll be continuing the Star Wars Rebel series. This is uh, the episode Out of Darkness. <coughs> Always good way to start an episode with a chase scene. They come, it's all part of the plan. Is getting blasted out of the sky part of the plan too? Because if it is, then the plan's going. <laughs> uh, you should know better. There isn't a pilot in the Imperial fleet that can outrun me. Teaching me some of those high flying moves. You fly my ship? <laughs> I don't know. Ed. Ready? Not ready! You never told us why the mission was so important. I've told you before, Fulcrum's intel is on a need. Fulcrum? Hmm. I need to know more. Are we gonna have an episode where we focus more on her and Sabine? So far they've been very much as always, you know, sidelined. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I told him to wait till you were out. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> These three. The I do want to that you relationship. This is Fulcrum. Come in. This is Spectre 2, Fulcrum. Why don't I talk to him? So is Fulcrum. Only the rendezvous with Spectre 2. Supplies are unloaded. I don't know. I, for some reason, yeah, I have a feeling he I might be a bad guy, but I don't know. Spectre 2, what's the problem? No problem, Fulcrum. And I forgot that the um No, oh, maybe Fulcrum didn't like your attitude. I know I didn't. That thing's gonna blow and uh, they gonna be trapped. And it's bigger than you or me. Bigger than Lothal, bigger than the entire outer rim. Kanan, he knows what he's doing. Hera. What exactly is the history between Hera and Kane? And she does seem to have a lot of faith in him. I'd expect we would find out sooner or later. <laughs> oh, cool. And there's a bunch of them. Makes sense, I can see it's their lair. And come out in daylight, huh? Ah, this reminds me of <laughs> Pitch Black. So this is the child. Edition, I suppose. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, basically, the uh, Wind Diesel gets trapped in a planet with alien creatures that can't be in sunlight. Go ahead, Spectre 2. You did run a full diagnostic on the fan. Uh oh. And you checked the results? Damn. Vector 2, there might be a small problem. <laughs> sure. Wow, how could you tell? Could you sense it? No, I could hear you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna need bait. Where do we get that? We don't get it. We are it. Such a confident smile. <laughs> Boom. You just might survive this. Wait, you doubted your own plan? Never. Good, because I sure did. Hey. Hey. 
Couldn't they just... No. Go inside them. Shuttle and wait there. I don't know, I suppose they could claw, claw their way in. Maybe, I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. We're going to die. <laughs> That's no secret. <laughs> Here, here they are. <laughs> These guys aren't so. Uh oh. Uh, Seriously, can I get rid of that slingshot? But know that I trust you. I just trusted you with my life down there. I know. I know you do. Good. Just kiss. What? Well, there you have it, folks. That was Out of the Darkness, and yeah, pretty good episode. We got uh, some Hera and Sabine action with a little focus on, on Sabine's backstory. So, she was part of the Empire when the Empire had an academy on Mandalore. I don't know anything about Mandalorian history. In that time, I mean, uh, only what, what little they were told in the Mandalorian show that eventually the Empire destroyed Mandalore and you know, a little bit about, you know, the Mandalorian history, you know, Old Republic stuff and, but yeah, I don't know anything about why they were under Mandalorian rule, but yeah, now we have Sabine, so in the future when we Get more of her backstory, who knows, maybe we'll even get a flashback or two. And then he'll and a little tease with um, Hera and her history with Kanan. Hopefully, hopefully we get, get to see more, more, more backstory on that as well. And as always, uh, Ezra, Zeb and uh, the droid, <laughs> they're just causing trouble all over the place. But yeah. Yeah, this was a really fun episode. And I said it during the reaction, this episode really remind, uh, reminds me of Pitch Black, similar plot, a planet with creatures that ca can't come into the sunlight and all that. And yeah, we got introduced to a, a some someone named Fulcrum. I mean, we didn't get to get in, in got introduced to that there is someone like that helping them. I don't know. For some reason, I have a feeling about that. It might be, you know, Imperial Spy just toying with them, maybe. But I don't know. He did, he did seem to give them the goods, so wouldn't make sense. But yeah, the moment, at first when they so uh, mentioned Fulcrum that he was helping them. I did think about him being an Imperial spy, but yeah, obviously not. I don't know, maybe he left the, uh, the staff on the planet knowing those creatures might <laughs> kill them either. Hmm. Anyway, still, as I said, it's a fun episode. What do you guys think? Write your thoughts down below. Hope you enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in another video.